Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Call Halo Yam, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Yahshua Allah, who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, sincere Akim, out there spreading this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, to 144,000, to the house of David, to the women and children consisted of one third. Most high willing is really be edifying. Basically, the whole. Uh, Make, I'm about to make this uh, video because you got something going on with Kim Burrell and Shirley Caesar and this whole homosexual coming at uh, uh, homosexuality, all right? Kim Burrell, she bashes homosexuality, so-called bashes homosexuality, but she, uh, it, which is the truth, what she was saying about homosexuality, man. I'm going to play this clip, but my whole means of, of making this video is basically yo Kim Burrell and Shirley Caesar need to stop teaching man they just need to stop teaching all right but I'm gonna play this clip though and then I'm gonna um, bring out some scriptures I've been meditating through the spirit I'm gonna deal with um. <clears throat> I'm gonna deal with um. Basically, what she was bringing out, she was talking about the uh, homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that basically she was saying if you that implying that if you don't repent within 2007, you're gonna be destroyed. Long story short, which is maybe the case because this may be the year where we get up out of here. This may be the year that uh, the great door of Babylon is destroyed, man. But I bring out this crypt scriptures real fast, man, because that's the truth. You know, they try to say she's talking about hate speech and this, this, and that, which the scriptures back that up. You know, you homosexual, you know, if you don't repent, you're going to get destroyed. You're going to be destroyed, man. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever? Amen. For this cause, God gave them up. God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. That's talking on you know woman on woman, man. <clears throat> it's going on one on woman on woman, man. Verse twenty seven. Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men working, 
which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. So they also leaving the natural use of a woman, because a woman's supposed to be getting pregnant, bearing children, okay? So woman on woman don't equal no children, and man on man don't equal no children either, man. Okay? It says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them up to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Which is not a convenient thing to do, man. That's plain. That's really plain, man. You think about it. And people talking about some, this is hate speech. No, you hate yourself, man. You hate yourself. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of, of God. So people telling you repent, all right? That's showing love because they want, at the end of the day, they want you to receive the kingdom of heaven. And the things that you're doing, homosexuality, being a sodomite, being a lesbian, all right? Being a shit diver. That's not going to, that don't equal up to the kingdom of heaven, man. You need to repent. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. All right? Because that's what you're doing. You're abusing yourself. You hate yourself. You're talking about, you know, people that are bringing this out, talking about hate speech. No, it's not hate speech. It's actually love speech. Because uh, uh, to you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you Israelites... All right, you confusion the faces if your line go back on your father's side to an Israelite man. All right, to the seed. This is love telling you to come repent and come back to law, side your, uh, um, and commandments. All right. Now I got that out the way. Basically, man, these women need to stop teaching. Okay, because you got this uh, other chick, uh, Sh uh, Shirley Caesar, who was famous for um, who was famous for this right here. <laughs> She just say ham. First off, you ain't supposed to be eating ham. That goes against the Levitical laws, man, the dietary laws, all right, in Leviticus. All right, you're not supposed to be eating ham, all right? You're not supposed to be eating ham, man. No pork, no swine, all right? And now that was the list that everybody was going, that was the craze of this, of 2016 Thanksgiving. When the scripture con uh, condemns things given, man, that was the slaughter of our brethren, our brothers and sisters, man, the so-called Native Americans, who just so this damn devil, these Edomites came over here and, and slaughtered our people and stole it and rape robber and rape robbed and stole the land, and you got you know Jake celebrating this all the time. She talking about some you name it and got and, and um. You, 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 whatever she got all this stuff you name it she got it on a day that the most high is not going to smell in your solemn assemblies nor want to hear them hear your songs man you know amos 5 and 21 that's thanksgiving right there amos the fifth chapter 21st verse you can go take that all the way down to 23 when it talks about the most highs don't want to hear your, your songs man and they made a song about that that's spiritual the most high is not dealing with that stuff man and she came at uh, Kim Burrell saying, yo, if you felt that way, you want to talk about homosexuality, you should have bring that out four years ago when Obama started passing laws that, hom that homosexuals could get married. So people thought that she was backing uh, Kim Burrell up, but she wasn't because she said, nah, I never hurt nobody. I never, wanted, I never said anything to hurt anyone. When guess what? You're supposed to be hated for this truth. So you ain't got the truth. You're not even passing the truth. You, you condemning our people. And the same thing, the same thing with Kim Burrell, man. You sitting here preaching, but look, you got a big ass uh, Christmas tree in the back, man. In, in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, all right? You go to Jeremiah, Tim chapter, it condemns Christmas, all right? Follow not the ways of the heathen. Be not dismayed at the signs of, the signs of heaven, because the heathen are dismayed at them, man. For the, the customs of the vain, for the uh, customs of the, the customs of them are, are vain, you know, not verbatim. 
for one cut of a tree out of the forest as going into the Christmas tree, man. Worshiping Nimrod and Tammuz, man. They deck it with silver and gold. When they don't, you know, they ain't got silver, real silver and gold on it. They got garland, which imitates silver and gold. Most high a commander is not to do that, man. So you can't sit here and say, uh, <clears throat> you can't just condemn one thing. You gotta, you gotta go, go for the whole thing. You gotta, you gotta bring the whole truth out. And if you if you're a woman and you about this whole truth, the whole matter, guess what? Not only are you gonna be against homosexuality, but guess what? You're not gonna be teaching. You're not gonna be serving authority over no man. You're gonna have your head covered. And not only that, you're not gonna be celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving, man. And that's just the truth. You're gonna be you're gonna be about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, who, you, who, who the world only call who, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ? You are gonna do this hundred percent, man, and repent. It's all about repentance. We all gotta examine ourselves and go and stick to the scriptures and and repent. That's it. <clears throat> and build that and build your faith up, man. All right, bring the scriptures out. Going on, First Corinthians, start at the eleventh chapter. <clears throat> start at three, but I would, uh, I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, the sign of his head. So men ain't supposed to be covering his head if he, if he praying or prophesying. Now, verse 5, but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head, for that is even all as if she were shorn. So a woman is supposed to have her head covered, all right? That's just the truth of the matter. And bring more understanding on uh, a woman's role in, in the church. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Start at 32. <clears throat> First Corinthians 14, 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. All right. And then you go into the scriptures, man. The prophets of old. All right. Couple for a few examples. You know, you got Jeremiah, Isaiah, Hosea. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Amos. You got uh, Habakkuk. Nehemiah, Ezekiel, all right? Those, the spirits of those prophets are subject to the prophets. So those prophets are here today, all right? Here today. Men of the Lord. Men of the Lord. It says, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. So these women ain't supposed to be speaking, man. And that's why the Most High is, is magnifying this situation because uh, it's way out of line, it's out of order, man. And people are getting confused. The scriptures say, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. So it's supposed to be order. That is way out of line. That's out of order, man. And Kim Burrell, she, you're going to go against homosexuality. But then when everybody's coming from all ends, attacking you, and uh, Ellen DeGeneres canceled you from, from you going to her show, and Pharrell came at you, and all these other actresses, you know what I'm saying, the, the Braxton girl, you know, all these other, you know what I'm saying, celebrities come at you, you apologize. How you going to apologize? It says, let your woman keep silence in the church, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. So it is the law. This is the law, man. It says, <clears throat> If they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. You got a husband. You supposed to, this, Your husband's supposed to be getting this truth and teaching you in the, in the house, man. All right? Let's get a little bit more understanding, though. This 1 Corinthians... Or Salakia, 
Pardon me. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner, also the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefastness, in sobriety, with non broided hair, or gold, or apparels, or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. All right? That's, that's plain. Silence. Woman. Learn. Subjection. Key words, man. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to, to assert authority over the man, to, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. All right? Understanding that this is this is this is the order of things, man, and they're confusing. They they they're com they're uh <clears throat> they're spreading confusion, man. And it gotta be put. The, it gotta be an end to that, man. But that being said, you know, most high wouldn't it was edifying. All right, want to give all praises um to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Yahshua Allah, who are the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, sincere I came out there spreading this truth and righteousness and sincerity. All right. To the house of David, to the 144,000, to the women, the women and children consists of the one third.